early Monday morning, Naitakwe Grounds, Moroto District. Draft by Mountain Moroto, a slow start to life. In a few moments, this place will be teeming with traffic, cows, goats, sheep, herders, and traders. Naitakwe is Moroto's biggest livestock market. They come from all directions and in all sizes. They are being harder to be sold. Over 50 cows will have sold away by the time the market wraps up. Cows are central to Karamoja's economy. They are a form of sustenance and a critical element of the Karimajong culture. To rear cows is to be Karimajong and to be Karimajong is to rear cows. An old claim goes here. As you can see, there is a lot happening. It's of it's only because of livestock actually that this market happens every day. You can see the other benefiting activities. Uh, the women are selling the local brew. Uh, they sell of ropes, they sell of other animal products, they sell of uh, livestock health products uh, in this just because of livestock. Now you see the people who are bringing livestock, they bring livestock from their kraals, from their grazing areas, from villages to sell in exchange for products, in exchange for money. Uh, so that now the households of these pastoralists can be able to access other facilities, they can be able to access their basic needs, such as uh, human health uh, needs. They can also go to the markets to buy cereals. They can also uh, buy clothing for themselves. They can access any other need that they want, but the first up, the primary bit that they have to sell is the cow. But when the sales are done, there is a feeling that the contribution of pastoralism to the regional and national economy is not fully appreciated. This man later told me he would have earned much more from the sale of his bull had there been standards, weighing scales and modern facilities to handle livestock at the market. You can see how the market is. It's not developed at all. There are no loading trams. There is no fence around. There are no facilities for understanding it as a livestock market. When we came here early today, it was just a compound. It was just a bush. There was no one. Uh, we think that if there are investments, if there are investments in this livestock market and also other livestock markets across the region, that can be able to help us track its contribution to this economy, that can be able to help us track the viability of pastoralism as uh, an economic system. Uh, that's what we need to do. Now, part of those things is to understand the transport system and exactly know where does this cow when sold here end at. At what worth will it be when it's sold in a market such as in Bukedia, in a market such as in Kampala? Some of these cows and goats actually end up in Juba. Some of them end up in Nairobi. It's better to understand, especially for the person who is a producer, the herder. He should understand what is my cow worth, what is my goat worth, so that when he's transacting here, he's able to understand that I actually contribute this much to this economy, whether a national economy, a regional economy, or the international markets. Naitakwe is a microcosm of the way livestock trade is done in Karamoja. It is uncoordinated and ill-organized. Facilities such as loading trams are missing and there is no record of the number of animals brought for sale, let alone how much is made in sales. The local government only comes to collect a levy. Pastoralism is the most resilient way of sustenance for Karamoja, providing crucial nutritional and food security, but it is done with most basic infrastructure and support missing. Besides, the economic activity is facing pressure from urbanization, which has led to the shrinking of grazing grounds and, of course, climate change. But a project co-funded by the World Bank aims to improve the lives of pastoralists in Karamoja. On top of ensuring water security and educating them on rangeland management, the project also aims to improve livestock marketing. This project is also consulting uh, 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 ma um, livestock market, uh, which is actually well designed, eh? which even a farmer and having all his skills, then the farmer just you know the prices here just they use estimation by eye, but this time the farmer weighs weighs by the weight of animals weight, and of course you you bargain now property not against against work. In an effort to get the Karimajong to live sedentary lives. Government has been trying to promote crop farming as an alternative way of sustenance. But with Karamoja's unreliable rains, pastoralism remains the most viable source of livelihood. 
the strength of an economy can be seen from my perspective from the strength of its most dominant you know sector uh, if we say the pastoralism is the most dominant and, and the most reliable in the region so why is it that we are not putting money there and, and we are leaving it to, to, to just you know um, go down go under and, and we are only taking tax money out of it yet we are not investing uh, in, in um, health services uh, vet services we are not investing in uh, the transport sector we are not in, in investing in the in the market uh, chains we are not uh, investing um, in 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 processing plants as, as government so we're only taking money off of it and and for us if you're milking a cow that you don't feed you know that is a very dishonorable thing to do but the east african zebu karamoja's favorite breed remains honorable and dependable it is the region's best insurance against poverty and food insecurity